You're right, Tamia. In this video, I'm going to use one plank of wood to make a height chart. Here's how I did it. This project really couldn't get any simpler. I've just cut the board to six foot long. I'm now going to use the tape measure to mark three inch increments all the way up the board. Now keep in mind, three inches is a lot bigger than you actually think it is. Now I've got some increments marked. I'm gonna use a square to mark the different lengths. Now the quarter foot marks, I wanna be the shortest. The half foot marks, I wanna be a bit longer. And the full one foot marks will be the full length. And I can carry that on all the way down the board now. So now that I've got all the marks on the board, it's time to router the grooves. I'm gonna be using a small palm router and I've got a 10 millimeter straight cutter bit installed that's roughly four millimeters deep. As a straight edge guide, I'm simply gonna use my square. I've marked 71 millimeters away from the line that I wanna cut because the gap from the straight edge on my router base to the center of the bit is 71 millimeters. Now that I've got all the one foot markers routed out, I've swapped over to a six millimeter bit, the same depth, roughly four millimeters. So now I'm gonna do the quarter foot and the half foot marks with this same bit now. I'm also gonna show using a scrap piece of plywood to act as the straight edge. Using the square can be a bit tricky, especially with the router vibrating, it is likely to slip on this. So this is another option, should you not want to go down that route. I made some number templates to trace round and then I can use the pencil lines as a guide for my palm router. Using the same 6mm bit as before, I carefully carved away the material inside the lines and then used a chisel to clean up to the lines. After sanding it was time for some paint. I used black acrylic paint for the measurement lines and then I used some different colours of acrylic paint for the numbers. It looks rough and ready, that's because any excess paint or spillages over the edges will be cleaned up by the sander later. Some spray lacquer now will protect the paint. As you can see sanding reveals those clean edges again. I used a chamfer bit to ease over all the edges all the way around the board on both sides. With that done it was time for stain. I went with a water based teak stain for this. Once it was dry I thought I'd try some wood butter that I brought from WH Creations. I buffed it after giving it a couple of hours to soak in. To hang the height chart on the wall, a simple keyhole hanger is all that's needed. Using a straight bit in the router, I removed material in the back of the board so the hanger would sit nice and flush. Two screws hold it in place. Using the off cut from this wood, I cut some one inch squares and painted them the same colours as the numbers. These get some self adhesive fridge magnets attached to the back. Make sure you get them in the right orientation, otherwise they won't have much holding strength. So here's the finished article. As you can see, I've got the magnets attached to the side and I'll show you what those are for in just a second. But the hanger on the back, that will just be attached with one screw in the wall. And I've lined it up so you put the screw in at the six foot mark. That way you know you've got the measurements at least lining up right. But for now, I'll just lean it up against my wall. So a lot of the height chart designs that I saw online, of course, have the numbers on there and they'll often put the family's name 
or different bits and bobs like different designs, maybe cartoon characters, but I hadn't seen any that gave you a way to put up photos. So that's what these magnets are for, they're just basic fridge magnets, but they'll enable you to put photos to match whenever you take height measurement. So you can still mark a line on with a pen, write the name, the date, the age, that kind of thing. Then you just take a photo and stick it on with a magnet. Obviously my thought behind it was that you take a photo at the time of actually taking the measurement so then you can look back and you can see what they look like at that age, at that height. You can add on their children's children in the future. This could be a family heirloom that you pass down throughout the years and keep track of all the family heights. So you could have the dad, the granddad, everybody listed on there. And I think it's just a nice memento to keep. And I'm releasing this video just before Christmas time. You've still got time to make one and gift it if you're running out of ideas. So that's it then guys, a really simple one I know, but hopefully it's giving you some inspiration. And like I said before, there's still time to get it made in time for Christmas if you're struggling for Christmas gift ideas. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Honestly guys, I can't thank you all enough. And if you check over on Patreon, there's a link to a private Facebook page because to be honest, Patreon isn't the best for interaction. I've noticed I post stuff over there and not everybody gets to see it. So if you are on Facebook, check out the page and that's where I'll be sharing all the behind the scenes updates and everything throughout projects such as I did with this one. See you all on the next video.